In today's video, we take a chunk of bismuth and we melt it down to make a puddle of bismuth. Then we melt some more down to make an ingot. And finally, we make some crystals. Well guys, all the parts are finally in order for me to melt some bismuth. We got the bismuth, of course, right here. About one pound right there. We have a blacksmithing ladle. This is meant to be holding molten lead, I think. So it'll definitely hold molten bismuth. And I ran out and got myself a nice butane torch. So, let's melt some bismuth. Let's try to melt this one first. Actually, you know what? It might be a better idea to slowly heat up the ladle and then add the bismuth. Now that is a pretty cool metal. Look at that. Still liquidy. Oh, it's, it's getting hard. Yeah, looks like it's pretty much hard now. Oh, this is getting pretty warm. I've heard that bismuth doesn't stick to hardly anything, and so it's another good reason why it's a nice metal to play with. Because, I mean, as you can see, it's, it has a weird surface tension around the bottom of that puddle. But on here, it's even not even connecting to the ladle that well. It's going to be very easy to clean up. Okay, now let's see how well this thing's stuck on here. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess it didn't even stick at all. Weird. Now that is cool. Look at that. Now, to my knowledge, bismuth is a pretty fragile metal, so I should be able to fracture this. Or not, wow. There we go. So now we... You know what, actually, I had a better idea. A better idea than cracking it, I just... Okay, I just take my channel locks like that, and I melt it under there. It might work. Oh, look at that! Isn't that cool? Oh, that was a weird one. Weird shape there. It's pretty cool. Now I wonder what would happen if I if I s snapped it. Now I say let's try casting an ingot. 
And this is the best mold I can come up with. Should be good enough, though. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it all melted and what will happen when we put it inside the mold. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. It startled me when it popped like that. But that's what's to be expected when you're pouring on cold, moist concrete. Well, only thing left to do is to let it cool down now. Okay, so it's been like four minutes now, and oh, oh, hmm. At least this stuff doesn't stick too well. That's good. Comes off pretty easily. Wow, surprisingly enough, that looks to have actually worked. I'm kind of afraid that this is probably still molten on the center. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> you can definitely tell where I added the extra layer of bismuth on there. <laughs> this is pretty toasty still. Got an ingot. It's pretty cool. And it looks like we have just enough left over to try the last thing I was wanting to do. Make some crystals. I think we just wait for it to cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's crystals. Yeah. Okay, so we just... 
Oh, I bet we can just pop it upside down. Oh, and look at that. When I moved the tray, the outer edges of this puddle were hardened, so when I moved it, the inner molten metal sloshed out and revealed the crystals in that, too. They aren't as beautiful as those ones, though. There we go. I'd say I'm pretty happy with this. That was pretty cool. I think it was like $20 a pound for this bismuth. Not bad at all for all the fun. And it's a lot safer than lead. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!